Welcome back to Ozarks Live. Tom is hanging out in downtown Springfield this afternoon at the History Museum on the Square. Tom, what are you and John Sellers getting into? <laughs> if I told you everything that we are getting into, John and I start talking and we don't have enough time to cover all of this no, stuff. No. We really don't. But the one thing, the, the, the observation, John, that, that uh, you know, I made is you can have your own little history museum uh, by just by talking to people, oh, the aunts and uncles and the grandparents, yeah, things absolutely. like that. It, people really don't realize how fortunate they are if they have living relatives from another generation. Mm -hmm. uh, just your, you know, everybody's got a preconceived notion. Well, you know, that's my crazy uncle, yeah. and he doesn't know what he's talking about. But if you just sit down and have a conversation. Just get a glass of tea and sit down and just chat. It's amazing, the experiences. And it, it answers so many questions about why things are the way they are, why they, why they do what they do. And, sure. And it, it, we use that every day. We, we're, we're very aware of the fact that, that every day we lose a piece of history. Mm -hmm. A section of history is gone forever because the people that experienced it and had the had the knowledge of it are not here anymore. Well, you will have a personal regret because you will know there are still so many things I would like to know. Absolutely. And, you know, we watch things on television or the movies mm -hmm. or whatever, the idea of Little House on the Prairie. That isn't that far in the past. No, 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 no. You have people and who lived that way. They, we absolutely. And, and they came through here. Mm -hmm. The people that wrote that story came through Springfield on their way to Mansfield where they settled and where the, where the museum is. Yeah. They bought their tablets that they wrote the books on here at Springfield Tablet Company. Uh, those, those kinds of things, those kinds of, of contacts with the outside world, whether it's uh, Lindbergh flying in with his wife to visit or yeah. whatever it is, all of those things, we're trying to capture as much of that as we possibly yeah. can so that people will really be in awe of this community and all that it's been involved in as far as the history of this great country. Well, and one of the great things about the History Museum on the Square is when somebody asks you, well, it's just Springfield, it's just a little town yeah. and nothing. No, it no. really isn't. No, 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 a no. lot has happened here. Oh, absolutely. And a lot more, you know, to come. Oh, I mean, you yeah. know, we, we've got things. I know we've got something coming up that you'll be interested in. Go ahead. Knowing you as I do. All right. Have I got a deal for you, buddy? Oh. As part of our oncoming History Uncorked series, okay. we'll be introducing a pro Prohibition Mixology event in February. You'll have to watch on our, on our online, okay. on our website, historymuseumonthesquare.org. And uh, in February, learn how to mix drinks like bootleggers and speakeasies during Prohibition. So we're going real old we're school We're going here. old school here, yeah. And, <laughs> and I knew that you would, you yeah. would just be all over that. Absolutely. And uh, when about is that going to be It's going to be in February. I don't okay. have the firm date yet, but uh, yeah. But that, that's great. With all the cold, this will be uh, a warm uh, refuge. Yes, then. yes. That will be that will be one of them. Okay, you mentioned, you know, uh, the Prohibition mixology. And in just a minute is what we've got. This is also like you know, ground central for a lot of different diners and things that oh, we even still have some of them yeah. around. Oh, yeah. No question. I mean, there, at, there were at times uh, some of these that, that were just uh, the absolute mental image you have of a diner. Yeah. is like the little chef that used to be just around the corner here mm -hmm. uh, that were just old street cars and things converted into diners. And, and uh, then we've got uh, got others that uh, that are still going today. That uh, you sit in a table in a booth like this and okay, and get your cheeseburger. I tell you what, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we come back and add a few things because really there is always something really interesting here at History Museum on the Square. Ozarks Live will be back right after this.